Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about the health benefits of sweating. You know, we ignore these things today, and especially in a world where we're sold dry fit clothes and we're given that message that, hey, you don't have to sweat. You know, wear these particular clothes, wear these gym t-shirts and these gym leggings and all of that stuff, and there's no need to sweat. You can be comfy, you can be clean. But I, that, that's dangerous for us. There's a reason why the human body sweats. An absolute reason. It's natural to regulate body temperature. Sweating is good for us, but of course, sometimes it could be a warning. If our pressure drops too low or our pressure goes very high, we have a panic attack, we're nervous, we're very stressed out, we can break out into a sweat. Those are signals for us to get our pressure checked or to do the right thing at the right time. The kind of sweat I'm talking about today is when you're out in the sun, that's safe. When is the sun safe? When it's not burning into your skin. When, your sun starts, when the sun starts to burn your skin, it's damaging. It's damaging your cells at a cellular level. It can reprogram your DNA, your cell metabolism. It's not healthy for you because of the UV rays and you know, a lot of the ozone being depleted. It affects us. But when the sun isn't burning us and we can just feel the warmth of the sun on our skin, that's great sun for us. I'm talking about the sweating when you're working on a farm, you're doing a workout, you're running, whatever it is, you're in a sauna, you're in a steam bath, that sweat is amazing for us. When we're walking out, sometimes we just want the weather to be right for us and of course it should be right for us, but there's nothing wrong with walking in humid weather where you break out into a sweat. It's a great thing. Why? There are many reasons. Regulates body temperature, that's a natural. Of course, you've got to be careful of the fevers, the fevers that bring on a sweat. So sometimes you have a fever and you sweat because the sweat kind of regulates your body temperature. Or sometimes sweating can also be the onset of a fever. So you want to be mindful about this kind of sweating. The other kind of sweating is great for you. You know, there's a lot of mixed research about toxins. A lot of people say that when you sweat, we can have toxins come out of our body, especially heavy metals. But the research is for real. Okay, there are a lot of doctors, there are a lot of, you know, doctors that I've been speaking to over the last couple of weeks on my podcast that talk about sweating and toxins coming out of your body. It's a beautiful way to detoxify when we sweat. And that's why sweating is good for us. When we're too comfortable in life, or, you know, we're working on, we're working out with the air conditioner on and we don't even break out into a sweat, we miss several of the health benefits. Have you ever seen yourself in your skin when you sweat? There's a certain luminosity that you see, a shine that you see on your skin. What is that? Your pores open up. <clears throat> Water droplets that can act as a natural moisturizer. Absolutely. When you sweat, the next time, sweat. Wipe the sweat off your face and look at your skin. Look at the glow. Okay, that's just not blood flow. Absolutely, when you work out, there's increased blood circulation, increased oxygen and nutrients. Your capillaries swell up and you have that glow on your face, that pinkness, that redness, the really good glow that you like. But the sweat acts as a natural moisturizer. It's fantastic to see this on your skin. We chase expensive creams, expensive moisturizers. I don't have a problem with that. But didn't you ever think that nature had an inbuilt mechanism of a natural moisturizer for us. It's also great for the protection of your skin. That's why when we have patients of eczema, psoriasis, or other skin issues, especially bacterial skin issues, we tell them to work out and sweat. It's extremely important because you see sweat holds a glycoprotein that binds with the bacteria on your skin and helps it exit from your body. So you see, sweating is, sweating is natural to us. What isn't natural is trying to protect ourselves from sweating all the time. We use all of these perfumes and these uh, deodorants that, that are sweat-free. They stop you from sweating and you spray it under your arms to stop sweating. <clears throat> That's one of the most dangerous things you can ever do. You actually block your lymph nodes. We have lymph nodes in our groin area between our inner thighs next to the groin. We have lymph nodes under our arms and different parts of our body which tend to sweat more. And that sweat is important. It's important. It's a release from your body. Your body's trying to push something out, but you're using a chemical that keeps it in you. And that builds up within you. So you should never be using deodorants. Now you would be, but look, I gotta go to work and I can't have stained underarms and all of that stuff. Yeah, you get essential oil deodorants. You get essential oil, real, natural, chemical-free sprays that you can use to naturally stop this. 
It's okay to sweat. You can wipe, but please understand if your body's trying to push something out, but you're keeping it in, it's only toxic. Like constipation. People think it's okay to be constipated. Your body's collected waste and it wants to push waste out of your body, but you're constipated and you're keeping it in your system. What do you think is going to happen when you have waste product in your body for a longer time? And that is why I encourage every one of you. Sometimes the weather is hot. Like I said, you don't have to be directly under the sun where it's burning your skin and it's dangerous. But sometimes it's okay to sit on your balcony, to take a walk and even in the shade and it's hot around you and you're sweating. That sweat is amazing for you. Do this twice or thrice in a week. If you have access to a sauna or a steam, once or twice a week is also therapeutic for you. Just make sure you hydrate really well because when we sweat a lot, we lose a lot of minerals from the body and that could make us feel very, very low, very tired, very fatigued. Even when you do an Epsom salt bath because it contains a lot of minerals and magnesium sulfate, we also excrete a lot of water from our body. So it's important to drink water and hydrate, especially when you're sweating. But I can guarantee you to this and when you sweat, you feel so good. You're running, you're walking, you're lifting weights, you're dancing. And when you finish, you're, you're broken out into a sweat and you just feel so amazing. That's because it's good for you. It's great for you. Sweating also means that your blood circulation is at an optimum. And the more we create blood circulation, the more we work out, the more capillaries we develop in our heart and around different parts of the body. And the more capillaries you have, the safer you are when it comes to aging gracefully, heart attacks, cardiac, strokes, and everything else. So you see, these are things that are natural to us. Today, we, all, we, have, we want everything to be cool around us. Sometimes it's good to break out in a sweat. There's nothing wrong. You can shower. You can shower later, but try to make sure. I want you to reflect, when was the last time you worked out and broke out into a sweat? I ask this to a lot of my clients and patients, and they say, hey, look, I don't remember. I work out, but I'm in the gym and it's air conditioned. No, sometimes you really want to break out into a sweat, and I can guarantee you, do this for a couple of days. You're going to feel lighter, if you have brain fog and brain fatigue, you're going to find that kind of disappearing over time. It's so important for us to use the natural detoxification pathways of the human body. And it's free. It's absolutely free. All you need to do is do it. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep. And remember, you care is all about you.